Welcome back to some more EU4 with me, Daniel, from Dan Has Fun. Last episode, we took a little bit of land off the natives. We have taken a little bit of island from England. And this episode, we're going to start off by building, yes, it's out of date, but at least some type of fort in Stadacona, just so New Shotland has some sort of defensive play. And then we might have them declare war independently of us on the Wenro Federation. That way, I don't think we'll get the aggressive expansion, in theory. And this might be good timing, too, because the Wenro Federation has just got declared war on Huron. So, I don't see a better time than the present. Well, we'll just wait fractionally, because I want this fort to start getting built. It's going to be built in two years. So, I'd like it to not get wrecked while I'm building it, preferably. I mean, it could still happen, don't get me wrong, but I would prefer if it didn't. If we, if we, can, if we can not, I'd rather we not than can. But yeah, in Europe, we have to wait a little bit. Denmark is very much, obviously, our best target to go for. But they have a treaty, so we're definitely not breaking that. If we were to declare war on Nassau directly, Austria would join. So that is uh, that doesn't kindle joy for me. So we will have to wait. England has had to give up a province to Portugal and colonial Colombia. Well, that's kind of what we figured would happen, that they would lose this. They still have one province here. I guess it's because it's mid-colonization. But beyond that, yeah, England pretty much is out of the, the... At least the American colonial game. They still have land in Africa. Like, this is... I mean, this isn't England, but like nobody's touched Madagascar, which is kind of a surprise, but we're going to do. We have a quick glance at the rest of the world, because we haven't done this in a while. Ottomans are kicking face, the Mamluks barely exist, Yemen mostly replaced them, but then got kicked by the Ottomans. Genoa is still in Tripoli area. No Russia means this is an absolute disgusting border gore nightmare. The Ottomans are expanding terrifyingly far north. Not good news for us. Denmark is the... Uh, the spoon around the Sweden right now, although they do not like each other. Sweden won't attack Denmark, though, because of their alliance to Nassau, and Nassau will wreck Sweden's face. I'm okay with that event combination. And then, yeah, in North America, it's terrifying yellow, and I don't even know what color this technically is. <laughs> Some type of blue. I, I just don't know the official name. Let's unpause. We will probably do the Colonial War now, so we want to pick New Shotland. I think. I don't know how... So, in terms of Colonial Region, some of this is Colonial Canada, some of this is Colonial Louisiana. I get the impression that if New Shotland takes it, they wouldn't give it back. I'm okay with that, though. Yeah, I think... I'm. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So we're going to go into Colony, New Shotland, Warring Colony, the Wenro Federation. Thank you. Uh, does New Amsterdam have anything it can do by itself? That is Florida, so no. Mohican and Pegwaki are allied together. Do we think New Amsterdam could do that yet? Probably not. As depressing as that is, I don't think it could take out two one province minor natives. Don't see it happening. National Epic? No, I'm good. I don't think that's worth it right now. Our prestige is just so good anyway. Well, that tells me that Florida's going after the Iroquois, which is not good news for me. I was hoping they would leave them alone for a bit. Natives. Okay, Poland's just attacked the Teutonic Order. Um, Who joined this war? I'm going to wait two... Well, I didn't do one day, but apparently did one week. Okay, everybody joined, which is bad news for me. I'm going to accept, but the problem with that 
is I have no troops over here, and they're going to start claiming Livonian land. I need open borders immediately. Who can I get them through? You hate me, so I'm sure you're not going to... Oh, you would, though. Oh, because they gave military access to enemies. I guess that makes sense. So that would mean I would need open borders through Brunswick, who won't give it, or Cologne, who won't give it. <laughs> well, let's start getting people ready anyway. How far can I get? I can't get through Lundberg. I can't even get over to Denmark right now. Great. Awesome. Okay. We'll start moving in that direction. Where is my navy? Come plonk here for war score. And I'm going to need my navy back as a precaution. I didn't think this would happen straight away. So you have to come over, heal, and then go back. Bad timing. Very bad timing. Uh, that's fine. As long as nobody's unhappy. England's declared on the Etiwa Federation. Okay, that's the uh, kind of lilac-y colour. Swedish exile. Sure. He's a plus three guy. So he's pretty expensive, but I'm going to take him because more points equals more prizes. Anybody else have a price? No. Uh, no. Okay. Fine. We have open borders with somebody. I'll take it. Quick, get through. Okay, if we want to take them out on the way, we can. But we need to hurry up. Are we going to lose this fight, really? Really? I know we started with low morale. But geez, like I was going to say, numbers. How, how on earth were we even close to losing that? That's bonkers. Yeah, move into that gap. Repair damage units. And then they can just come back afterwards. You're going to claim that, which sinks. Why are you not moving? Guess that reduces the attrition anyway. Yeah, this is exactly what I was worried about would happen. They would just jump in and claim everything. I will be incredibly unhappy if they give me nothing out of this war. Thank you for the ships. Yeah, and Lith Lithuania doesn't even have a claim on this. Like, what the hell? I bet they don't have a claim on that either, but they won't give it to me. Might as well go to speed four. How's my colony doing? Uh, they've got a war score of zero right now, so that's uh, something. How are they being so rubbish? Oh yeah, because it's colonial AI. Doing colonial AI things. Okay, where can we go that's genuinely useful? Because I need to rack up war score. Uh, it would be to go down to Hungary, by the looks of it. If they give Lithuania a fireborg, I'm going to be incredibly unhappy. For the record, that will stink. It'd be bad enough that they give them Goldingen, but... Viborg will make me unhappy. 
Reading. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Got a colonist back. That's what I care about. We need to start running this way. But we can't quite yet because neither of you are done. So I guess we're going here in this gap. Send a colonist. Well, we've blocked off all of the north coast. So that is excellent. And they did not flip the province to us. Wow, well, man. We used to be cool. Oh, Simon Stephen. Uh, apparently he's a special boy. We get 100 diplomatic power. And, yeah, natural scientist. It's you, sir. Sure, I'll take you. I mean, admin points I'm never going to say no to. Start calling you three now, finally. Yeah, that's fine. You can have open borders. Okay, all the Hungarian troops ran away, I guess. So let's just start sieging things. If we can. If they're not already being sieged. Yeah, we need war score. We're looking for war score, so... Helping with sieging is the least damaging way of doing that. Um... No, I'll take the prestige there. I don't need to upset everybody around me. I'm good enough at that as it is. <laughs> kind of hoping that they'll come over here and de-siege that fort, but I don't see it happening. One can dream. What war score contribution are we even pulling out right now? 25%, so hopefully they'll give us something. Wurzburg has been pieced out, so that's fine. We have two diplomats sitting around doing nothing. So I guess we'll just pump up your relationship to Max so that we can annex you afterwards. Thank you kindly. And now all of my ships are healed. These two don't need to be here. Tech trade in Lubeck. Everybody else. Oh, I've got six more transports, so that's genuinely useful. Speaking of which, I never moved my transports here, did I? I guess I don't need them at this point. That was less of a mistake so much as an oversight. Just going to sit here and block everything. Help them siege Mecklenburg faster. Hi, Fervor. What do we want to do? I don't need that. I'm going to do diplomacy because I'd like to burn off some of my aggressive expansion faster. Oh, we just learned a lot about Africa that we didn't know. What is the state of Africa? Looks not super normal. Timbuktu is kind of beating Songhai back. It doesn't look massively out of place. I mean, all of this being Yemen is kind of wild, but beyond that, everything else is pretty normal. We have a debate to debate. What do we want to debate? Cheaper advisors would be genuinely quite useful for once, but I think we might want to support the war effort and get one stability for free. I don't really want to ignore corruption, but we're probably going to. This is going to be a bit expensive, that's fine, but it'll be cheaper than doing it the other way. Ignore corruption. I'm not presenting a scapegoat. Oh, a scapegoat, whatever that is. Okay, we're back up to plus two stability. I'll take it. 100, essentially 110 admin points for two stability is not bad. Yes, de-siege all this stuff, please. And as soon as they do, I'm going to take one stack over to... Oh, the Bastion is completed at Riga. Bastion at Berg. Okay, one siege is completed. Run you guys back. Don't occupy my stuff. I didn't ask you to do that. 
Explorers bit the dust. That explorer's pretty good. Six fire, take it. Recall, lost the claim, it's fine. We can finally get my colonists down here. And we need to start expanding ASAP over to Cascadia. So at least we can have something here. Military leaders left us, but oh, and it's the general that's sieging, so I can't do anything about that. Okay, when Rogue Federation gave a couple of things to my colony, excellent. Who are you allied with, Ottawa? You, you guys might as well continue warring for now. So this is the Ojibwe. Oh, we can't because we're at war. Doi. We'll have to wait. Is that another colonist? Yes, it is. Can't put more than one there at a time anyway. You're in the way, something fierce. Because this technically counts as water. That's colonial Louisiana. Oh, I didn't think about that. If we go into colonial region, this is Louisiana, so that will stay with me as well. But I can't call that, so I'm going to have to get more land here, form this into Louisiana as a like a independent colony, I guess. Okay. That's fine for now. It's just going to change how I plan on doing the colony stuff, right? Okay. So we should probably, while we're waiting for this to complete, get a colonist down here. Try and give us a bit more. Maybe we can form our colony outright. Wasn't planning on really doing that, but we might as well. I mean, Portugal hates us anyway, right? That's gone down. Open borders. Open borders. We can get a new tech, but we're still going to wait. We can build the Anukshuk. What's that give us? A extra promoted culture. Done. I like that. That's, that's, I didn't even realize that was here in the game now, but I like that. Nice touch. Yeah, I'm going to wait there. I'm not even going to attack them. I want them to take that out. Ah, they didn't, though. They gave the war up. What did they do? So, they gave Teutonic some provinces to Poland. They gave me nothing out of that. They gave me 19 favours, but they gave me nothing. Not very happy about that. Because now I'm in the peace treaty with these guys again. AI kind of screwed me a bit. Uh, okay. Why won't you join? Because you're in debt. Well, whose fault's that? Hmm. That's very annoying. That's, that's blocked off a major path for me. We can still attack Spain, though, with uh, Spain. With France, though, with relative ease. We can't attack Spain. Spain will wreck everything. Attacking Spain uh, directly through... Well, indirectly through this would also cause them to break their Defender of the Faith title, because they will not defend France. But the problem is that Austria won't join in because of the Holy Roman Emperor. Poland won't join in because it's too far away and they suck. So I'd be pretty much having to solo France and Scotland. And Naples. It doesn't sound very appetizing when you phrase it like that, does it? Probably not. You know what I'm going to do before I forget? I am going to annex... Uh, there it is. Verdun. So I can stop getting this Diplo penalty if I get another alliance. 
And then we have to wait until January so that we can then benefit from... Uh, I want to make sure I don't go through my own territory here. So that way we can... There we go, I'm going to there. That way we can benefit from... Hmm. No, I mean, we guess we can't benefit too, too much. Was, it's fine. <laughs> I was just thinking too, I'm like, that's not quite as smart as I thought it was going to say or sound. Story of my life. Go heal. That's definitely not the story of my life. Is England going to lose its colony to this federation? Probably not. I mean, you'd think England's still strong enough to handle this, but the 13 colonies have no troops. England still have 34,000, but they have no manpower again. They are just not, not doing well. They're in a treaty with us until when? 1601? It's good to know. Yes, for now, we are, we've are we made it quite far colonially. There is an empty province here we could cover, but, I mean, who cares? Mohican's just been annexed by England. Where even is Mackie Sage now? Hmm. Pico wouldn't join. Ottawa would. Ojibwe would. So my colony should probably go after Cree. But I'm tempted to have them go after... Ottawa first, but that would be in the Iroquois, and that's a bit more dangerous. Yeah, have them go after Cree then. There you go. Now, this is why you want to get your colony big and strong so it can do work independent of you. Badly, but it will do it. Get the speed back up to four. Um, I mean, sure. <laughs> Okie dokie. Open borders it is. Alrighty. So we do have you founded. We can now reach Darien. Can we reach straight up? We can. We can get to this coastline. We can't get there because the colonist is sitting in it. Go send a colonist here. Uh, because we definitely won't be moving this colonist. We're going to send somebody uh, with an expelling minorities. Send a Westphalian. It's fine. I'm hoping having one province here won't make Spain really angry, but we'll see. Doesn't look like any, anybody's come down here yet. I don't see anybody, which is interesting. Okay, so admin tech 16. More production efficiency. Diplotech 16. More trade efficiency. Military tech 16. Lots of things. Cannons, combat width, artillery improvements across the board. Get our new cannon, please. I don't think it matters which one it is. We want the Demi Culverin or the Chambered Demi Cannon. Demi Cannon it is. And we're finally annexing our vassal. I'm very, very proud that I finally remembered to do that. <laughs> it's only been approximately forever, but we got there eventually. 
Are we still horribly over our limit? We're only seven ships, so it's only costing us two gold a month. I don't care about that. We're making 28 right now. So I think we'll be okay. Oh, France just did the first circumnavigation. Realistically, we were never going to do that because we don't have any land in Africa, but... Oh, well. 1596, not a bad effort by France. Who I still would love to attack, but nobody else would join me. Spain doesn't like me. Genoa would ally me, but they're not super useful. Naples likes France. The Ottomans hate Poland, so that's an absolute no-go. It's still interesting that Poland likes Brandenburg and Bohemia. That's really strange to me. Bohemia with 103,000 troops is a little bit scary. That is a lot of troops. More than I have. More than I can do. I mean, I'm pretty close to my force limit, aren't I? Eh, I've got a bit of buffer. I should probably pad that out a bit. Do something like that. Like that. Get the numbers up. Oh, Lorraine's having to give things out. So they're not quite as scary as they used to be. We used to talk about them being that kind of middle-sized... Ooh. Middle size, ooh, no. Um, I don't want to lose army professionalism. I'll eat that. Yeah, we were talking about them being a middle sized power in Central Europe. We didn't really want in coalitions. But now, I don't think it would matter. Treaty with Nassau is over. But yes, as we can see, Austria would defend them. So would Spain. So this would be an absolute devastation if we were to do anything. But clearly our avenue in is to go after denmark which we can do in february next year so we're not far away at all probably gonna stop drilling as a result and we have six ships we can start moving them over once we have our full stack prepared okay well i think what i'm gonna do is not call this province thought about it nearly did it by accident no nope, we're gonna put a cut in here Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know. Give it the old like and subscribers and have a wonderful rest of your day. And we'll be back for some more very soon. Bye now.